Hello and welcome to Storytime with Hannah and Patrick. This week we will be reading I Have a Superpower. Are you ready to find yours? Written by Ted Kelly, illustrated by Sarah Lee Wills. Published by Magic Mouse Books. So, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Then let's begin. I have something to tell you. So come closely and listen. It's time to let the secret out. To let it sparkle and glisten. Did you know you have superpowers that are hidden out of sight? Sometimes they can feel amazing and other times they can give you quite a fright. These particular superpowers can feel confusing at times. There's no doubt about that. But I will train you how to use them so you can activate them super fast. See, I also have the same superpowers. In fact, we all do, it's true. And that's what makes it even more super because we can all experience them together too. Do you know what your superpowers are? Have you guessed yet? Hmm. What could they be? One of those superpowers is known by different names but to many it's known as anxiety. What is anxiety? I hear you say. Well, let's look at anxiety a little deeper and more closely. It's an emotion we feel like joy, sadness, anger, or when we feel really happy. <laughs> Anxiety sometimes comes when we feel worried or stressed about something. Like an alarm ringing in our head, alerting us to get ready. Our brain sends a message to our body, especially when we don't feel safe and secure. Run away or fight, it says. Run! Protect yourself from danger. But why, you may ask? What for? Our ancestors passed down this superpower to us, along with another, when they were cavemen and cave women. They learnt how to survive so they didn't get eaten by saber toothed tigers, woolly mammoths or a huge raging gibbon. This superpower is known as the fight and flight response. It helps us when we feel challenged or get in a tricky spot. It makes our muscles stronger, our heart beat faster and can make us feel quite hot. This superpower helps us to run away faster from any danger or stand strong and fight. But we don't have any woolly mammoths or sabre-toothed tigers running around anymore. Nope, not even at night. So why do we need this superpower still? Well, read on my superheroes as there's more to learn. Are you still listening? Brill. Now we still get stressed, have fights and get upset in our lives. <laughs> and it's times like these when anxiety can unexpectedly arise. Anxiety can trigger our fight and flight response, causing our mind and body to feel in a hurry. It plays tricks on our mind 
and makes us think and feel a little confused, upset, and tries to make us worry. But our silly old brain gets things wrong sometimes and thinks we are in real danger when it's just our thoughts in overdrive. Sometimes too much worry and stress creates more anxiety than what we need. And when this happens, it's here where we need our superpowers to jump to attention and take heed. You don't have to worry about being upset, angry, anxious or stressed. These are all normal feelings, my friend, that will pass, and more so as you rest. Anxiety is actually a superpower, not something to fear or be afraid of, my hero. It's an emotion that comes and goes a fleeting feeling that we can learn to let go. You see, anxiety is your own warning system, a guide to let you know something doesn't feel quite right. Anxiety also lets you know you are doing too much or trying hard to control the things with all your might. Anxiety can teach us to let go, accept what is, and show us that we need to slow things down. It's maybe time to learn how to meditate, breathe deeply, sit calmly, and flip any upsetting thoughts around. Your anxiety can be such a great teacher and you can learn so much from it too. Listen closely. What is your superpower trying to teach you? Can you hear it inside? Oh yes, wahoo! So next time, when your anxiety superpower shows up, thank it for being there. Then decide whether there's something you could do differently to change how you feel. Perhaps open up, talk and share. If it's just anxiety playing a little trick on you, then say, It's okay anxiety, I don't need any help today from you. And sure enough, your anxiety will take a little rest, but it will be ready for you next time when you need it, so there's no need to stress. Next time, when you are upset and anxiety shows up trying to test you, be aware that your superpower is actually trying to help you. Remember to wear that superpower with pride on your chest, in a form as a vest, and shout out, I am brave. And I am the best. Now you are more aware of your superpowers, emotions and thoughts. No doubt you will be braver, more daring, kinder and be up to great sorts. The End And at the back of the book there are some great tips for you and your grown-ups to help you all feel a little more calm and in control. Well, we hope you enjoyed that, my little readers. Remember to take a moment to breathe and have a moment for you. We'll see you very soon on Storytime with Hannah and Patrick. It's a goodbye from me and a bye-bye from Patrick. See you soon. Bye.